We are back. Afternoon, uh, you know, bus ride to survive. Uh, Steve Vai, Frank, uh, this is a first listen. So, I mean, I've never, I don't believe I've heard this song. Make sure we got everything. Oh, yeah, we're good. Oh, who's firing on all cylinders today. While I uh, um, compose myself, did 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 the uh, did the harpist just you know pull off a lick? I mean, am I? So the irony, or coincidence, or dumbass story Roland's gonna tell you now. We were playing cards this weekend, and we were talking about it because uh, now that a couple of my friends and I we go back in time and. Uh, you know, serve big old uh, bowls of member berries. And uh, we're like, man, I remember we were talking about, um, we listened to Eat em and Smile at the card game, the whole album. And uh, we're talking about uh, David Lee Roth and when Steve Vai and Billy Sheehan both played for him. And it turns out three of us, four of us technically, but one of the guys wasn't at cards. We were all at that show at the same time. We just didn't know each other back in the day, but we were all at that show. And uh, this is exactly what, I mean, it was listening to Steve Vai. Right? Do that shit. Oof, it's amazing. And then Billy Sheen would come up and do the same thing, but on his bass. And it was kind of like at that moment, I went from, and I mean no disrespect by this, but I went from a Gene Simmons solo of a guy running back and forth on the stage going blum, 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 Okay, that was a, that was a solo. Yeah. The other guy's guitar floated in the air and... Fun. Then I saw these guys play. And I understood I knew absolutely dick about guitar and bass um outside of uh you know and i this might have been pre-metallica so i don't think i'd even heard a cliff at this point and don't get me wrong there are tons of killer bassist i was just a young guy naive didn't know no better Whew, it was awesome it was awesome yeah, Eat em and Smile, David Lee Roth, touring with Sheehan and uh, Steve Vai. What a, what a show. And yes, all of that because the, the harpist tears out a lick. So sorry, it's what we do. I didn't think I was getting a harp lick this morning. 11.31, technically it's still morning.
the damn control with the, the, the I, I don't know what kind of thing he's using. <clears throat> he was locking headstock was a, uh, back in the day. They were all like the Floyd Rose or whatever you call them. You're floating Tremello. There you go. There's it's as close as I come to knowing something, and I have no idea what that rig is. I um I'm not that kind of fan, so I don't. Rig setup is nothing. I don't know. You know what? I know there's uh, hey, hey, there's six strings on that one. So when we were talking about the Melvins, because this is the funny thing is, you know, four, you know, five, six, eight people cared for that. But we were talking about in that one, I had just learned this story that uh, the Melvins like they set their instruments against their amps and just made this noise because the crowd had turned on them. And here's the exact opposite of that, using uh, feedback to make. I don't know, angels cry? I'm kidding. I'm not trying to be blasphemous. I'm just saying it's, you need some uh, uh, mighty big poetry to describe this guy's style, in my personal opinion only. <laughs> Fantastic. And, uh, oh, yeah. I, I had my guys watch that Teeth of the Hydra. Hi, the poopers. Oh, dog sighting. Hi, Poncho. He's mad because I put the cone back on him. The cone came off, and he was so close. He was so close. Cone came off. Then he just chewed himself back. And then it's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's not really poncho time right now, so we're not going to get distracted. Steve Vai Frank. No, I hadn't heard that one. That was smooth. Smooth as silk. That was pretty. I liked it. Um, I'm a fan. Yeah, as I was saying, I showed my guys uh, his Teeth of the Hydra, and they were... Uh, that is a um, highly, highly impressive uh, uh, tune, rig, everything. No, I, I did watch a, a little uh, little excerpt on that. I know a little bit about that one. Because I uh, want to know. I mean, really, this, it comes down to almost five necks. Yeah. Because of the fretting. It was amazing. It's very cool. Hey, I think that's, uh, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. I hope you had a good time. I hope at the very least you enjoyed Steve Vai's Frank. 
That was an amazing little number. Uh, I mean, no disrespect or uh, to take anything away from how incredible he is. He just, it's, it's so good. Later.